So our next matchup here was Tyrus taking on Rodney Mack. I was disappointed. I was too. And this was for the NWA World Television Champion. The thing is, is that Tyrus had, this was his sixth defense with the television champion. And with the television champion rule, he only needs one more defense to get his um, NWA World Heavyweight Championship match. So you know that's going to happen sooner rather than later, yep. which I don't mind, but this was a, this this match was not good. It was not, not good. good. It was very clunky. Yep. Um, the problem is that Ronnie Mack is pushing in his mid-50s. Yep. Um, Tyrus is still a little bit bigger. Yeah, it's like Tyrus. Tyrus cannot carry the match on his own, and Rodney Mack certainly cannot carry a match. Well, he's too old. Yeah, and he's that's too old. I, I, so, I, had, so I had a feeling this was going to happen. If you, if you want a good match, you have to have someone on the other side that can that can actually um, can carry actually carry the match. But Tyrus just cannot carry a match. Right. I don't, I don't know, know why, why he had, like, these weird biker shorts underneath his tights, but it was really weird, and I didn't like it. It looked, like, kind of out of nowhere. I wonder if Tyrus is working hurt, because I remember... I, I almost wonder if he is, too, because that was weird. Yeah, it was really weird. It kind of came out of nowhere, so um, usually when you're wearing something like that, I remember Triple H did something really similar when he was World Heavyweight Champion back in, like, 2002, and he had a groin injury. He pulled his groin, and he wrestled in those biker shorts. I wonder if Tyrus is suffering the same thing. If that's the case, he needs to get rid of this belt now. Right. Now, I would say have him do, like, a smaller title defense well, I'll, I'll talk about that later. But um, it was the heart punch for Tyrus to retain. At least he retained. I think Ronnie Mack was there. It's like, hey, I can. I, I want to wrestle at least one match with an NWA. We'll oblige to it. Right, whatever. It is what it is. Yeah. Um, I'll give this one to be nice an Orange Cassidy thumbs up. I'm going to give it an Orange Cassidy thumbs down. Okay. All right, we are back. Let's make this shit majestic again. And we're going to start off with a match that I would not do a damn yeah, let's just like change nothing about this match. Everything about this was fantastic. Yep. The explanation on why these women were there, the rivalry going up to it. Maybe maybe a video package would have been nice here. Um, to well, really Leo promote Packers that. Would have been nice for a lot of these I know. I'm. I'm. I'm, I'm just gonna be a broken record and so, say. So. So yeah, Billy. If if you can make video packages for all these matches, that'd be great. I mean, also, I, under, I understand. I understand the uh, Crockett Cup not having video packages, but the championship matches. You you have to explain this. I will be talking about the Crockett Cup because I think they could have done something oh, with that. Yes. But overall, I did like this match. I wouldn't have changed anything about it. I think everybody here was great, and I I was pretty much. Like, my, my balls were raisins. So. <sighs> this match was terrible. This was a really bad match. It was. This it was, match should not have happened. No. Nope. It, it, it's not my buddy. I would have. The, the problem was is that Rodney Mack did not have any matches before this match. Right. And I'm sorry. I like Rodney Mack. I, I, even, I even liked him back when he was on Raw back in, like, the early 2000s. But I think he should have had a warm-up. And the problem is, is that there was a lot of ring rust with Rodney Mack within this match. Now, with Tyrus, it's a hit or miss with Tyrus. Sometimes he's on point and he's awesome, and sometimes he sucks. It really just depends who he's wrestling. He had the match with the Pope to win this belt, and that was a really fun match. But, once again, you know... I did like the little hints of um, Tyrus and his uh, political commentary. That was really good by Austin Idol. But Austin Idol just knows what he's doing. Um, overall, I probably would have done a match or two to promote this. Uh, once again, a video, a, a video package would have been awesome for this match. <laughs> I'm going to explain to you why video packages is great. They really are. We're going to do that at the very end, though. Um, I liked everything about this. Especially with the name change from Crimson, you have to do a video package. Uh, but the problem is that I was confused like half the way through the match. I'm like, why the fuck are these people fighting each other? Now, they did have the big blow up where there was a thing at like a couple. It was a 73rd anniversary show where Jax Dane betrayed Crimson. They needed to reiterate it. They did. Just to kind of refresh it, but everybody in this was awesome. The knee injury angle to the cash-in because the announcers really explained it well. Now, that was kind of 
I don't know. It's kind of botchy, in my opinion, for that cash-in sort of thing. I understand why they did it. It could have been a lot cleaner, though, and it should have been a lot cleaner. Now, in, in a cash-in situation, when something is like that, a physical representation of a thing makes a big difference. It does, because I didn't know that he had that. Right. Now, Impact Wrestling, obviously WWE, um, uh, uh, the G1 Climax, they all have a thing. Yeah. Trophy, briefcase... Title, right? Something. They have nothing to represent. There was, there was nothing here, and I can understand how that could have been confusing. Even if it's like, like a little, like, paper, like a little paper token or something. Right. That's why I was saying, like a giant token, like AEW has. Right. Like, like a brass ring or something like that. You needed a physical representation on giving a further explanation right. on how this happened. Right. Um, the announcers did a good explanation on the, the what happened. The announcers were kind of pulling the weight that Billy Corgan should have pulled with the backstage team at NWA. It was. It, it could have been something very, very minuscule. Even if it's like a. I learned about all this shit while the match was happening. Doesn't really help me to get right. interested in the match in the first but, place. Um, I have no fucking idea. But the thing is, is that the crowd really responded to this well. And Jax Dane, you even said he's the biggest heel right now in their oh, company. Oh, God, yes, he is. And also, I like the... Um, he's I like, a bigger heel than Matt Cardona is. I like the Dane, um, I like the Dane event instead of the main event. I like that game. I like that too. Um, I think I, he's definitely a star. There's star written all over Jack State right now. I mean, Anthony Mayweather is awesome. He's really good. He might be a legitimately hurt. We don't know. Um, but everything about this was good. I love this. And I think, once again, national champion, this put... Um, Anthony Mayweather as the um, as the champion that had the least amount of time in the current era with 35 days as the national champion. Uh, this was awesome. It was a good match, and they they explained it pretty well. But they, they had they had a video package before they did. that. Well, of course, because this new championship again. Problem with the fucking gimmick matches. Now, when you say – it's not a gimmick match. It's a gimmick. It's another title. Yeah. And the thing is, is that titles are supposed to be – Special. Special. Few and far between. You get very little opportunity to go for the titles. Now, that's why, like, some champions are maybe a little more prestigious than others. Like, the NWA World Heavyweight Champion, for instance, it's not defended all the time. When it happens, it's very impactful, just like tonight. But they're introducing so many titles that it's going to be really hard to keep track of on who's what champion. Right, exactly. WWE is getting rid of one of their major champions at WrestleMania. They're getting rid of the Universal Champion. Why? Because two main champions doesn't make sense. When you are the WWE, when you're the WWE Champion, you are the guy. The man. You're right. the man of that entire promotion. Brands be damned. Right. But once again, you're introducing another champion, and I, I really don't want this title to get lost in the shuffle. I feel like half the titles in this promotion are lost. Yeah, and I don't like that. Yeah. Like, you got to get rid of something. Right. They shouldn't have introduced this champion. They shouldn't have introduced the women's, um, the women's tag. There was no reason for it. They don't have the roster for it. Right. Now, the thing is, is that the Hex were defending the uh, women's tag team champions in England. They did explain that, which I'm okay with. If they do that with all the NWA champions, I'm not going to have a problem with that. Maybe have one of those brands win that title, come to the NWA, give their promotion some exposure. We don't have a problem. Yeah, let's just... Well, they'll flesh it out. It's still a relatively new concept. Once again, um, I feel like... These are nobodies. Page and whatever her name is. Video, video packages would have been fucking awesome for this. Yeah, because I didn't know who these people were. Now, we already knew the hacks, but let's see some, like... Random, random tag team off the street here. Right, let's, let's see maybe a two-minute little video compilation of their tag team successes in other promotions. They explained it, but I want to see something visually. I know. Wrestling, wrestling is a very visual medium, and I need to see what they're doing. Oh, do they work well together? Two-minute video package. That's all I needed. They won this match with this, and Billy Corgan gave the blessing of this being the next number one contender match. Cool. Why? Cool. Why? 
Right. right. Why, Why did they give this title opportunity? They, they won a number one contenders match in their promotion. promotion. Billy Corgan said the winner of this match are going to go for the women's tag team champions. That's, that's all that. Good. That's all that needed to happen. Right. Like that's what I would have yeah, done. Exactly. Because then you have context. You have the two minute video package of introducing them to people. And it's like, okay, we got them in the ring. And to all the haters that say you should watch Power, it's like, dude, I only got a couple hours in the day. I don't want to watch Power. I'm sorry. Right. I already have things to do. I already watch enough wrestling. Yeah, as it I have is. watched. I've watched eight hours of wrestling this weekend. I'm kind of like wrestled out at this point. Like, fuck you. You, you have, have no idea. idea. I had like quadruple that time. Shut up. Um, the, the ending, ending of this match sucked. Jeff Jarrett was not. On point in this at all. Nope. He turned around. Now, if he if he got low blowed and dropped down to his knees where it was like distraction, and then he sees like Mickey James leaving the ring without Chelsea Green, and he like he like catches a glimpse, I could be okay with that. But the problem is, is that once again his full body was towards them when they were fighting each other. Why, Why would Mickey James, James low blow Jeff Jarrett? Right, Where? Because Mickey James is the face in this. Right. That's, That's the other thing. thing. Why, Why would Mickey James, James low blow the referee? Of all people. Why, Why would they, they do that? that? Well, technically, it was disqualification finish. It was a disqualification it was, it was finish. So bad. It, was, it, was, it was a disqualification finish for the heel to win, not the baby face. <laughs> if it was like, oh... Um, Nick Aldis won the match, but did not get the title. Yeah. That's one thing. Well, I guess I missed that part, but, you know, again. No. Aldis, no. Jeff Jarrett thought that Mickey James low-blowed him, which makes no sense because Aldis and James are the babyface in this rivalry. <sighs> you didn't even think, think about, about that. That, that just, no, I didn't that just about made that. it worse. Yeah, it did. It, it was just, this is terrible. But, but the rest of the match was fine. I, I did like this match. Eh. The, the crowd was really into it, and there was a lot of really good false finishes. I will give them that. Like There was some good stuff overall, but they're really good. Let's talk about this just in general. Well, actually, no. This is the last thing. So I know. We can talk Let's about talk this. about the Crocker Cup in general. So, number one. Don't have this over one night. You need to break this up over power, mm -hmm. um, um, power, power trip, and USA. You just have to, because I yeah. got bored. The first night didn't have to happen. Right. I was like, oh my god. Luckily, it was only forty-four bucks for both nights. I'm like, okay, I'm getting. Well, my great. So you wasted twenty-two dollars on a fucking whatever. This well, was. technically, you're paying half of it, so you wasted twenty-two dollars. You know what? Fuck you. <laughs> But the problem is, is that there was just so much of it all at the same time. And then the, for some reason, they still had 10 minutes I know. after it's like, oh, the wrestling competition is over. What? Okay. Why didn't you have – what? Yeah, why am I paying for Billy Corgan to talk? Right. Have, to have that during the pre-show where that's where that should have been because then you get context for all of it. Instead of having like – Two matches. Yeah, this is why Billy Corgan sucks as a promoter. Two match. Two he, ma he lacks. He lacks the capability of thinking about context. Two matches. Very important. Two matches within this entire Crockett Cup. I think were on the pre-show. There, yes, there were. And it's like and there what? was one that was even before the fucking pre-show. Right. Od Ogk and the Fixers was before the pre-show. Yeah. This was before this. They had the they they had it already with the first oh, and match. Guess what they didn't do? They didn't give us a video package of it. Right. It's like, oh, that happened. Cool. I had no fucking I idea. I had no fucking idea either. It is so okay. Oh, I, also, also, I didn't know who, like half these teams were before the Crockett Cup. Once again, video packages, and I think every every single thing could have been entirely resolved. And then you would have enjoyed it a lot more with a video package. Yes, because I don't watch wrestling on a weekly basis. If you want me to pay you had, money to you had, enjoy, you had you had a free pre-show that was an hour long. You each could night. have done that. You could have done like a recap of this person and this person facing each other. This rivalry. That's what WWE does really well. That's what AEW does really well. Okay, is is. 
to build. Even Impact does a pretty good job at these video packages. The thing is, is that there's longevity with those promotions. Well, Billy Corgan could have learned a thing or two. He could have learned a thing or two. The problem He has the money. He has the money. He has the exposure. It doesn't even need to be a that high of a quality I mean, video package. Right. We just want to see even, even if it's a like, package. Even even if it's like a two minute like little recap of the final part of a show that gave these people the opportunity to be in the spot. Okay, that's why they're here. Right. Cool. That's fine. Like Hawks, um, Hawks Air or RE, you I didn't know that they were a father son tag team. Right, that that would have been really cool context before the match. Right, the end. We're having issues. That would have been really cool context before the match. Yeah, cause I didn't um, know that. Now the Cardonas, they they promoted those well, so whatever. Right. Um, the Fixers, I don't know why the fuck they're eating cereal and how do they beat OGK? Where did that the fuck happen? Right. They, they, they're they like, oh, they just beat them. When? Where? Where? How? Why? Like, what the fuck? Right. At least, at least with the pay-in or the play-in, we saw the context. Right. And they said, oh, this, this team was from this promotion. Cool. Who cares? Well, no, that's fine. Well, like, why should I care if they came from this promotion? Like... Are they important? That's in that context. Promotion? Right. That's context. That's, that's all that's needed. Context is everything. Anyways, I think that is all that we have. That's, that's how you made that shit with Jessica. Very minor changes that make a world of difference. Yep. And it's like, and maybe that'll be a debate for next week. Yep. And that's why Billy Corgan is the worst modern day. I'm not. I'm. I'm, I'm not gonna. I, I can't say that. Well, guess what? Maybe that's going to be our part two. Maybe. So uh, become a patron at patreon.com. That is not guaranteed, by the way. Do not put that down as a topic for next week because maybe we'll come up with something better. Yes, we have like a, we have we have a, we have like a huge list of things like twelve. We do. Yes, like, we do. We like, have like, a huge like huge list of topics. But no pay per view next week, so it is going to be devoted oh, to a topic. God. And then it's WrestleMania. Yes, thank God. <laughs> so if you did enjoy this, remember to like, follow, subscribe, comment down below. Did you watch the Crockett Cup? What were your thoughts about it? Let us know in the comments. Um, tweet us or send us an Instagram DM, uh, especially with Peanut Gallery. Send him some dick pics. He really wants those. <laughs> no, don't do that because you'll be reported. So... <laughs> Um, definitely check that out. Oh, Lord. Am I going to get some dick pics now? There is a, there, there might be a chance. When was the last time you actually went on your Instagram? <sighs> Way too long. Yeah, it's been... I'm trying to get back on it, but I keep forgetting. <laughs> yes, you do have that. So follow us on all of our social medias, including that Instagram. All of that will be linked down below in the link tree. And as always, be majestic.